got to be more on top of things. Check that legal. Any questions for Coach? How's uh, Juwan doing? Uh, Juwan, he made it through a lot of practice today. And, um, you know, hopefully he, uh, he feels good in the morning. And we'll get another opportunity tomorrow to see how he does not shoot around and, uh, and see if we can get something out of him. It, you know, if he is available, uh, we're going to be careful. We're probably not going to have him out there, you know, in a 30-minute stint if, uh, if he does play, but hopefully get him back. Uh, obviously, from a physicality standpoint, he helps us in a big way, and that's, uh, that's, that's been the knock on our team, rightfully so, is we're not consistent enough in the physicality department. We've had three really, really tough days in a row, and I really didn't care what their loads looked like. We've got the analytics and the sports science department, and I pay a lot of attention to that. We're very fortunate to have them, but when they sit, laid out a load plan for me, I crumpled it up and I threw it in the garbage, and I said, we, we need to go we need to go hard and we need to go physical. And that's exactly what we've done the last three days. I, I don't care what their legs are like tomorrow. We had to get after it. And you know, I, the Coach Izzo football pads, we were just short of going out and doing that. So you know, we'll see how we respond to it tomorrow. I know these guys are sore, uh, but again, I really didn't care. We got 10 games left, and we need to get right and more uh, consistent from a physicality standpoint. If we don't, it's going it's to be a bad second half of the Big Ten season. So you know, hopefully, we'll get Juwan back on the floor soon, uh, get everybody right, and uh, you know, if it has to be shorter stints tomorrow, then so be it. But you know, it's a, a big game, big opportunity. But I just felt we needed three really tough days of practice to get our minds wrapped around what teams are saying about us right now. And I know everybody's report is go in there. If you play harder to them, you know, when things get tough, uh, you know, they've been getting softer. So we just we needed to set the tone in practice. Our guys did that. And, uh, you know, hopefully that carries over in the game at 730 tomorrow night. How did you, uh, how, how did you see the guys respond to that these three yeah, I mean, they, they, they got after it. They did exactly what we wanted to do. That means nothing unless it carries over into the game. And, you know, I understand that. So it's, uh, it's one thing to go out there and do it in practice in, in a setting where they know they have to uh, go hit somebody and they know they have to block out. And it's got to carry over into the game. And when things get tough, when things get hard out there, we've got to get tougher. You know, it's been a very disturbing trend for our team. When things have gotten hard out there, we've gone the other way. And we've gotten softer out there on the floor. And you just can't continue on with that and expect to have any type of consistency and expect to win, especially on the road. And you know, for us, we're playing the most physical team in our league tomorrow, one of the most physical teams in the country. It's the number one team. They've got one loss uh, on a, in a road game at Penn State. And it's, uh, it's a team that knows how to win. So if we don't go out there and match physicality, um, Wisconsin has a, has a way of making you look ugly. They did it to Michigan State twice. That's hard to do, uh, to go out there and out-rebound and out-tough, you know, one of the toughest coaches of all time and uh, in his teams. So you know, we know what we need to do. They run their stuff. They're extremely efficient, uh, one of the most efficient teams offensively. You know they're always going to uh, be a great defensive team. Uh, but what they're doing offensively right now is very impressive. So we need to go out there and, and uh, 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 again, be ready for a battle. They're going to screen. Uh, we know that. Uh, they're one of the best verticality teams. They jump into you uh, on that, and, uh, and they're really well trained. So we just need to go out there and be really solid and very disciplined, and that will give us a chance. I, 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 our older guys did a good job this week, and you know, Rink, we've we've been pretty limited. He did, he he wanted not, n nothing to do with that. He said, "I'm not. Don't limit me this week, Coach. I'm, I want to be out there. I need to be out there." And he was out there for every rep in practice. So you know, started with him. Josiah again was was really good. It was good to have Juwan back out there in live reps, and uh, you know, again, I, Boogie's had a good couple days. He he was he was good in practice. Kale was good. Uh, the last few days. And I know Kale's going to go out and hit somebody. I talked to him about being ready. And, you know, again, if we're, if we're getting out tough, you're looking back on it, the first guy I look at after every game is myself. I look in the mirror, what could I have done better? And I needed to have five guys out there that were playing more physical than the guys we had out on the floor the other night. When you go back to the game in Madison, how much was Wisconsin's offensive success just them making shots and how much it had to do with you guys not doing the things physically that you were just talking about? Yeah, we, we missed assignments. There's no doubt about that. Anytime uh, Connor Siege is in the game, they're running plays for him. And we tried to 
go around screens. You're not going to get around Wisconsin screens. They're too good at it. And that's what got him freed up, and that's what got him confident. I think he had four threes on us that game. But overall, yeah, they, they were they were unbelievable offense. But they've been unbelievable all year offensively. And we had some breakdowns. And again, when they got confident, we had a really tough time slowing them down. Offensively, we were pretty good. I think we shot right around 50%. Uh, we turned it over too much. And that's the other thing I've talked to our guys about. When you look at our formula for success, when we take care of the ball and when we rebound, we win. And when you look, I'll just use our last three games as, a, as an example. We play Northwestern, and we took care of one of those two. We rebounded well. We out-rebounded by 14. We turned it over 18 times, and we won a close game. We play Ohio State. We had six turnovers, and we out-rebounded them, and we won by almost 20. And then you go on the road, and we get out-rebounded and we turn the ball over, 17 and 18 in, in offensive rebounds and turnovers, we get, and we get our ass kicked. So that's the formula. If you go out and take care of both, you're going to win. If you take care of one, you're going to have a chance. If you don't take care of either, you're going to get blown out. And it's, uh, it's a huge emphasis right now because teams are pressuring us, and we got to use it against them. You know, your eyes should light up when you see pressure. You should be able to use that pressure against them and get good looks when that happens. But we're playing in a crowd too much. We're over-penetrating, over-dribbling. And if we make simple plays, when we do that, we get the defense shifted, we have a pretty darn good offense. How, uh, how does, just kind of broadly speaking, um, preparation change for seeing a team a second time in a season versus first? Well, you have obviously plenty of examples from the first time of what went well and what went didn't. And offensively, we had some pretty good possessions. Defensively, we didn't have very many. And it's uh, I, I guess that's the biggest thing, Wilson, is you know obviously you can look back on the first time, and then you got to adjust. you got to make adjustments from things that you did well and then obviously things where you got exposed. So that's been the big thing is, is going back, watching a lot of film. This is the first time we've had three days prep, I think, actually on the floor. We had an off day and then had three days uh, to prepare. So we were able to watch a lot of film with our team, and now we got to go out and execute, execute the game plan and have scout discipline. And, and if you do that, I, you know, we should have a chance. k has had a couple quieter games. Is there anything you can do to get him going more? Is that something where you don't want to press that issue, just you know, let it come naturally? Yeah, I mean, obviously he missed a couple where he was all by, all by himself, I think, on two of his shots that didn't go in, and, and that just doesn't happen very often. After making his first one of the game, he, he hit the first shot uh, to put us up. And I'll say this, you go back look at that Maryland game, we threw the first punch. We get up 10 right away. That should be, especially in an early game, a great sign. But you just, when you go away from what's making you successful, it's, uh, you're, you're going to struggle. And that's exactly what we did when we started turning it over. And then they just started pounding us uh, from a physicality standpoint. But you know, we need to do a better job of finding Casey. And when we're in transition, he had a couple possessions where he was open. And we just didn't have the awareness to find him. When we were doing a great job of that, earlier in the season. Uh, CJ you know, got it going for us a little bit. I think he was the only guy in double figures for us in that game. But you know, we need Casey to be aggressive. Uh, he obviously takes contested shots, but he can make some of those as well. And you know, the Northwestern game, I think, was a perfect example. You got to be diligent. You got to keep moving. And eventually, you're going to uh, open up and get free space. And, and that's what he did to hit the game winner. Uh, against Northwestern, uh, whatever it was, a week and a half ago. So, you know, we need to uh, do a better job of finding him. But the pressure that was applied by Maryland, that made it tough for us to really execute. And when you can't get the ball over half court, it's, it's hard to get a guy a shot. Fred, getting an opportunity to play a top 10 team at home like Ann for a second time this year, how big of an opportunity is this for your squad? Yeah, it's, it's huge. And, you know, our guys know that. They, they read all this stuff that's out there. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to play an unbelievable basketball team. And they're, they're, they, I'm telling you, Greg Gard has done a phenomenal job with this group. And A.J. Storr is, uh, has been terrific. And everybody, I mean, Klesmet, uh, you know, Chucky's been terrific on both ends. Uh, it, they're bigs with, with Wall and Crowell and Winter off the bench. I mean, they're, they're a really good team, one through 10. And it's, uh, they pose a lot of challenges. So opportunity to play against the number one team in your league, it's always, uh, uh, you know, it should be a fun game. Hopefully our guys go out there. I know our crowd is going to be phenomenal, and we got to give them a reason uh, to get behind us early. And I'm confident our guys will. They've had, like I said, a good week of practice. And if you have any pride from what happened to us on the road last week, you'll bounce back, and you'll play with great effort. And if we do that, again, I, I know we'll have a chance. With Juwan, how much of it is 
physical with his recovery and then how much of it is mental just given his injury history and what that's seen in front Yeah, I, I don't think there's uh, too much mental, Robin. I, I just think, you know, for him, it, it, once he gets out there and in the flow, I, I think – that that will all be in his past, and you know he can just go out there and react and play because it is. I mean, you, you do have a little bit of that. Uh, you know, when you have an injury, he thought the worst. Obviously, I mean, he thought it was going to be a season-ending injury, so that did take a toll on him emotionally. And you know, again, I, I we talked about being careful with him, and uh, you know, after having a good week, uh, he just wasn't quite ready. And we feel that uh, he's almost there. Whether he goes out there and plays. Uh, 20 minutes, five minutes, no minutes. We'll know that tomorrow. But you know, he's in a much better place now than he was uh, than he was a week ago. Thanks, guys.